Hello friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, let's discuss about uh, nucleic acid quantification. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and click on the bell icon to get notified. Any experiment uh, that requires the manipulation of uh, nucleic acid mostly also requires its ac accurate uh, quantification to ensure optimal and reproducible result. As you all know, uh, the most of us use uh, downstream application after the uh, nucleic acid preparation like PCR and uh, cloning and other, other um, downstream applications after the extracting the nucleic acid. So it is important to um, calculate the concentration of nucleic acid we have to use in these experiments. The nitrogenous uh, base positioned along with the nucleic acid strand absorb the ultraviolet light uh, at a wavelength of 260 nanometer. At this wavelength, the light absorption um, is proportional to the nucleic acid concentration. This uh, relationship is so well characterized that the UV absorption can be used accurate to accurately determine the concentration of nucleic acid in a solution. So when you measure the um, concent uh, when you measure the solution nucleic acid preparation solution at 260 nanometer we can correlate the concentration of uh, nucleic acid the relationship between uh, dna concentration and absorption is linear up to an absorption uh, at 260 of 2 so till uh, absorbance 2 we can get a linear relationship based on the uh, absorbance and the concentration for measuring uh, the absorption of uh, nucleic acid solution in a spectrophotometer the most molecular biology laboratories will use a quad cuvette with a width through which the light beam travel is 1 cm so the path length most of uh, the laboratories use is 1 cm as you can see on the graph on the right you can see the linear relationship between the concentration of uh, dna and the optical uh, measurement at absorbance at 260 nanometer so how to determine the concentration of uh, double stranded dna uh, this is very much useful when uh, when you are working with uh, plasmids genomes etc the uh, quantification uh, is typically performed by taking absorbance measurements at uh, 260 nanometer 280 nanometer and 320 nanometer Absorbance at uh, 260 nanometer is used to specifically detect nucleic acid component of the solution and absorbance at 280 nanometer is used to detect the presence of protein. Uh, because uh, tryptophan residues absorb uh, the at this wavelength, so this can be used to detect the proteins. Absorbance at uh, 280 nanometer can be used to detect the protein, presence of protein. And absorbance at 320 nanometer is used to detect any insoluble light scattering components. And a spectrophotometer capable of providing a scan from 200 to 320 nanometer can yield maximum relevant information. So one can look at the spectra between 200 to 320 nanometer and can get a fairly good idea about the purity and the presence of contaminant in the uh, DNA prep. For nucleic acid uh, purified from biological source, uh, calculating the ratio of the reading obtained at 260 and 280 can give an estimate, uh, estimate of how pure the, uh, the nucleic acid preparation is. Pure DNA free of uh, any protein contamination will have an A260 by 280 ratio of uh, 1.8 and uh, if uh, the uh, preparation is contaminated with phenol or protein, uh, then the A260 by 280 ratio will be less than 1.8. And uh, if RNA contamination is present, if RNA is coming into the DNA prep, then A260 by 280 ratio may be greater than 1.8. And for the pure RNA preparation, the A260 by 280 will be close to 2. At uh, 260 nanometer, the DNA concentration as low as uh, 2 microgram per ml can also be detected and a solution uh, of DNA with a concentration of 50 microgram per ml will have an absorbance at 260 equal to 1. So 1 OD suppose if you measure the solution and you get 1 OD that corresponds to 50 microgram of DNA per ml. So using this we can calculate the concentration of DNA. As you can see in the graph based on the uh, uh, peak the we can get a peak at a different wavelength we can uh, uh, fairly say how good your nucleic acid preparation is or how pure the nucleic acid preparation is the extension coefficient uh, for one millimolar solution of uh, uh, dna double stranded dna is around uh, 6.7 and this can be used uh, to calculate the molarity of solution of dna coming to the single stranded uh, dna concentration uh, as we mentioned uh, uh, the one od of double stranded dna corresponds to 50 microgram per 
per ml of the uh, DNA. Whereas uh, one OD of single standard DNA uh, will correspond to 33 microgram per ml. So suppose if you want to uh, determine the concentration of high molecular weight uh, single standard DNA in uh, picomole per microliter. So this can be uh, calculated by first calculating the how many micrograms of uh, single standard DNA are present. And then we can convert that to picomole per microliter. So the concentration of high molecular weight uh, can be expressed as picomole per microliter amount by first determining how many micrograms of the single standard DNA that are equivalent to one picomole. To do this, uh, we can use the average molecular weight of the uh, deoxynucleotide in the DNA strand. For uh, single standard DNA, it is taken as uh, 330 Dalton. And this value uh, is then used to convert uh, convert the uh, and bring the concentration of single stranded DNA expressed as microgram per ml to the concentration expressed in pico mode per microliter. The extension coefficient of 1 millimolar solution of single stranded DNA is 8.5 and this can be used to calculate the millimolarity of single stranded DNA. And the, uh, the extension coefficient of uh, uh, DNA is uh, 6.7, single uh, double standard DNA is 6.7 and this can be used to calculate the molarity of the solution of DNA. Hope you are clear with this topic. If you like the video, please press the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you.